alhamdulillah wala kad khalaqna al insana min sulati min tini we created man meaning the first human being adam alayhi salam our remote ancestor min sulalati min tini from a quintessence of a spermatozoon i don't pardon from a quintessence a quintessence of clay min sulalati min tini from a quintessence of clay and we did realize in our introductory preamble of this particular beautiful verse that it is all round true we have studied the soil profile at laboratory level we know what the soil is made of yes it cannot be a complete mass of soil except when it does carry within its constitution calcium element and carbon element you have iron ferrum ferro ferro f e you have what you call uh, h2o molecules water are also a constituent component of soil yes etc etc we have also studied the human body anatomy the hair you carry on the head and or the beard in fact every hair strand on a human body a very large percentage of it is carbon carbon the symbol of carbon is c on the reactivity series of the known elements carbon hair every hair strand on the body a very big percentage of it is actually carbon scientifically speaking we came on to the eye itself human eye what you call aqueous humor in the eyeball the aqueous humor is from the word aqua aqua in uh, latin most of these european countries are latinized languages including uh, spanish itself including portuguese french etc etc in fact uh, aqua means water aqueous humor that constitute inside the eye, eyeball itself aqua aqua means water eu quero um copo d'água i want a cup of water aqua eu quero um copo d'água you know aqua is water aqueous humor a very big percentage of that liquid in the eyeball is water yes h2o H2 molecules yes water and it does help the eyeball to retain its shape otherwise it would go amorphous that liquid inside the eyeball does exert a certain amount of pressure to retain the eye ball in shape sitting in the eye socket it's water eh uh, 75% of a human body is water we did discuss the cell last time very briefly though 
the cell, the, the human body is made up of billions of cells. Billions of cells. We have studied the cell critically. You find a nucleus within the cell. Ribosomes are actually like a industrial area of a city. A human cell is like a tiny walled city, fenced city, the way Allah Tabarakatala created it. The nucleus does act like a city hall. I happen to have been a councillor, one of the councillors of Kampala City Council. I know the dynamics of a city. It is the city hall which directs the activities of a city. In a cell, the nucleus actually, actually does direct the activities of, of the cell. Allah Akbar. Yes? You find communication networks within a cell, communication networks, like you'd find roads, railways, cable cars in a city. <laughs> yes. For example, when oxygen is delivered at the cell wall, what I referred to as a fence or a wall, the city, the cell wall is there, a centurion. Yeah. The cell wall does allow it to enter. There are certain bodies, the cell wall enters enter the cell. into the mitochondria, many mitochondria. And inside the mitochondria, you'll find there uh, glucose, also delivered by the bloodstream. Glucose inside the powerhouse, the mitochondria, and the oxygen will chemically react with that glucose. Glucose actually, chemically speaking, is carbon atom 6, C6, H12, H represents hydrogen, and O6. That is the basic molecule of what you call glucose. That C6, H12, O6 plus the oxygen, you'll get water, H2O, as products of this particular re chemical reaction, you get carbon dioxide, it's waste material, unwanted by the cell, and it will be exhaled at the end of the day, outside, plus energy. As I sit here in the Thraya Islamic Media uh, Studio, the body is using energy, and the brain itself consumes a lot of energy. And as you listen in from there where you are seated, as you watch the program, your body is using a lot of energy. It is from that bread you broke, maybe at breakfast, maybe at lunch or supper. We break bread. Bread is digested, it goes through the, the, the digestive system, and uh, it is delivered into the bloodstream as a simple sugar called glucose. The bread is a complex carbohydrate which may not actually be useful in its original carbohydrate form. But it is worked upon by enzymes in the intestines and finger-like projections called the villi plural, V-I-double-L-I 
does help assimilate the broken down carbohydrates into glucose and that is assimilated by the finger-like projections inside the intestines the inner lining of the intestines is actually these villi finger-like projections when we analyze it under a magnifying lens like a microscope they are the ones which absorb the glucose into the bloodstream and the bloodstream carries the glucose to wherever it is needed in the body okay oxygen plus glucose inside the mitochondrion you get energy which you use to speak to make salah to sit read a book energy listen the brain consumes plenty of energy now then carbon dioxide is not one thing it is released back outside the cell through these communication channels yeah. through these communication channels Allah Akbar they are ribosomes inside the cell this is like an industry area proteins are manufactured inside the ribosomes I say the cell is like a tiny walled city in the city you find in here in Kampala we have industry area industry area you have powerhouses where you get this electricity the mitochondria inside the cell actually act as powerhouses that's where you're getting energy from okay but my point is the most dominant element inside the cell is actually protoplasm protoplasm is a, a, a jelly like living stuff there is life in protoplasm <laughs> protoplasm in studied scientifically at a very close scientific range and it has been found that more than 80 percent of protoplasm is actually h2o molecules water in a given cell and you have billions of cells making up the body 75 so percent of a human body is water pure water we did review a verse last time where Allah says awalam yara alladhina kafaru anna samawati wal arda kanat ratqa fataknahuma wajalna min al ma kull shay'in hayy afala yu'minun can the unbelievers see that this globe planet earth and the heavens the skies the stars the comets the planets name it where one joined the entity opaque gaseous very hot gaseous substance and then we split them asunder by the way we have attempted a big bang experiment at laboratory level it did happen at one point in time fafataknahuma wajalna min alma kull shay'in hayy and we created from water min alma every living thing subhanallah subhanallah laka da khalaqna al insana min sulati min tin i have tried to give a narrative of the soil profile and you find these elements the brain we did say 50% of the brain is zinc zinc is a constituent component of soil zn is the chemical symbol if you will of this element called zinc zn a constituent component of soil 50% of the brain even of a newly born baby 50% of that cerebrum is zinc 
From where would anyone deny the fact that Allah created man from soil? Minha khalakanaku. I created you from that soil. Wa minha nakhrijukum. Minha khalakanaku wa fiha nuidukum and we shall turn this body back into the soil from where it came originally wa minha nakhrijukum tatan ukhra and from the soil one will be resurrected resurrection is real and there is a thin if you will logical thread running through a logical a, a, a thread of logic running through the holy quran from the beginning so to fatha to the verse to the last chapter surah nas the quran is interconnected in an amazing fashion very interesting from the beginning to the end it is inter connected right through logically <laughs> this cannot be the work the handwork of a human being like you and i ah uh ah -uh. ah uh ah -uh. so logical like the khalaqana insan min surati min tin thumma ja'alnahu natafa fi qarari makin Originally, Allah is talking about Adam, whom he created directly from the soil. Prophet Adam, salam, our forefather, all humans on earth originated from Adam. And we are brothers and sisters in humanity. Yes, we are. Because we originate from one and the same source. Then we created the man from not of her. The not of her Allah is talking about here is that spermatozoon. A tiny microscopic sperm. You cannot see it with your naked eye, can you? You cannot see it. Plus the ovule call it an egg in the uterus of mama from the ovaries from the ovaries it it passes through the oviduct into the uterus and that is where normally fertilization takes place inside the uterus the sperm will find it there and fertilize it in an amazing way Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Yes. Then we are in the form of a not of a. That is that combination of a spermatozoon and an ovum is the basic origin Allah is referring to here as not of a. See, a congealed because when that cell an ovum is also a cell so is a spermatozoon when was setting that fertilized ovum underwent binary fusion they became two cells by leave of Allah then four cells, then six, then eight, then ten, and so on and so forth. Some of those cells formed your tongue, your nostrils, your sense of hearing, your brain, your hands, your nose, your legs, your all in all. That congealed clot of blood. Ikra bismi rabbi kalladhi khalaka. Khalaka li insana min alaq. Allahu Akbar. Khalaka li insana min alaq. A congealed clot of blood. 
سبحان الله سبحان الله ثم جعلناه نطفا في قرار مكين قرار مكين is a place firmly fixed that uterus when you look at it with a keen eye it is actually positioned in a place firmly fixed why and how when you human human body structure he has got what you call the pelvic bone pelvic bone pelvic bone is made in such a way that it is protective when it comes to a very sensitive vulnerable organ like for example the mighty faculty of reason the brain god protect, protects it with a screnum kawanga <laughs> screnum is actually protecting the brain I is a vital organ it's protect is in the i in the socket i socket what we see as the eye is actually a small portion the eyeball is a big organ <laughs> those who understand luganda my mother tongue it is so singatuli yam ojira sosa linkananga wola bintengo tengo yakula mtengo tengo that is big enough what we see as the eye is a small portion then by there you have the optic nerve yes la haula wala baka allah watuka kuchi kuchi uwe chomwe nda tika kenga ho the pelvic bone mama kulde gaba mama pelvic bone it resembles a basket what we call in luganda a chibo it is a basket normally found in the kitchen but as it ages it loses the its bottom and that basket we call it olubobo pelvic bone resembles the olubobo to the banda Urubu. with that wide is it a hole like because it has lost its bottom that is where the uterus is found properly guarded by the pelvic bone and the special tendons holding it in place at the time of birth that outlet is approximately 9 centimeters radius it is 9 centimeters to the mothers who have a lesser circumference of that outlet of the pelvic bone giving birth is is problem, problematic because now the baby may not pass through <laughs> that out at the time of uh, birth and such mothers have to undergo what you call cesarean and doctors don't want to do it more than thrice after three babies they advise the mother to stop at that she may not stand operations again and again to get out the baby but that outlet in the in the pelvic bone is actually 9 cm eh uh, Uh, what you call that la haula wala quwwata illa billahi alazim so we mold the baby inside family fixed that i like saying here thumma ja'alna hudra fa fi qarari makini thumma thumma خلقنا نطفه علقه ثم خلقنا نطفه علقه we have seen that point where the fertilized ovum undergoes fusion and they become many cells to become alaka alaka is the congealed clot of blood فخلقنا علقه مضجه 
Then the congealed clot of blood becomes a mudga. Mudga is like a, a chewed, chew, chewing gum. It's like a, a chewed substance. Chinyama nyama. A chewed substance is mudga. Fakhalaka na mudga idwama. From this mudga, we created the bones now. The skeleton we spoke of, the bones in a human body. We created the bones, idwama. Fakasawa na idwama, lahma. Then we clothed the bones with the flesh. I hesitate to call it meat. We clothed the bones with meat. Allahu Akbar. Huwa la khaliku jalla jalalu. He's clothing the skeleton with flesh. If I sat here in the studio, this beautiful studio, with just a skeleton without flesh on, on my body, I, I don't even think he would be able to watch this. If a man walked into a masjid and is just skeleton without the flesh, Allah Akbar, Muslims would flee the masjid. We closed the bones with flesh. This is where a very important point comes in. What is this? What is this uh, 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 Allah is talking about? Then we turned, we changed that zygote, that fetus, into a new creation. Highly elevated. It's a different creature from the original. Let me tell you, my brother, my sister in Islam. Plants and animals... Humans are also mammals in the classification of living things. But plants and animals have life. Allah gave these creatures life. But plants and animals have no rule. A human being is constituted up of two major elements. The physical body and the rule. Call it a spirit. These two go hand in glove yes animals and plants have life but they have no rule the male bull for example we call it ente enume will mount the female cow okay there will be that sexual intercourse it will mount the female cow it will release the spermatozoa. Okay? It is a mammal. And there will be creation of a new animal. Here where Allah Tabarak is saying, Fatabarak Allahu Aksan al Khalikin. Allah Tabarak Allah is celebrating his own being. Because now he's created a human being. He deputes angels at this juncture. He deputes an angel after 120 days, according to Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. For this baby inside the uterus of the mama, the angel does breathe ruh, the spirit inside of the baby, at 120 days. That is approximately four months on the Arabic moon calendar. 120 days is the equivalence of four months. When every other faculty on the body of the baby inside the uterus has formed, the baby has the head with hair on it, eyes, the ear, the tongue, hands, legs, everything. That is when Allah sends an angel down to breathe the spirit in the body. Allah Akbar. In this baby forming, that is when 
it becomes now a normal human being. And there is a very important happening which occurs at this juncture. And I'll demonstrate that my brother here in the studio, studio engineer, Sheikh Mawidje, will, inshallah, uh, zoom in his cameras accordingly when I demonstrate what I have to say. This is when, where Allah subhanahu wa said, Thuma ansha'nahu khalqana khalqana akhara. We changed this creation into a new creature. We have been seeing the baby forming in the uterus. Yes. And after 120 days, four months, remember the gestation period is nine months. After four months, the baby has formed completely. Something strange does happen. And we have been seeing it live. Expectant mothers, mothers have been recorded scientifically right through the entire gestation period. After 120 days, where the Prophet said that is when Allah deputes an angel to breathe life into the baby. Because the, the spirit is not in one position of the body, it's not in the thigh, it's not in the chest, it's not in the head or in the in the uh, in the foot no it is all over the body as it is that's why why baby has been created completely and Allah is sending the raw the spirit in this body the baby interestingly inside the uterus does change posture after 120 days as the prophet said like this. That's why I want to demonstrate this because I think it is important. The baby begins to tilt inside the womb and assumes the posture of sujud. The forehead does rest on what you call the cervix or the mouth of the uterus. The cervix. This posture cannot be found in any other cathedral, no church. This posture is found inside the masjid. Sujood, prostration, college professors. What is it that tilts the baby? inside the uterus of the mama to resemble Muslims Allahu Akbar just as they are when worshipping their creator Allah and the prophet of Islam did in one of the hadith sahih kullu uh, mawludu Every born human being is born in a state, in a posture, in a condition of Islam. <laughs> Every human being. It is only abnormal if a child, if a baby was born, not with the head coming out first. If you can look at the structure of the genital tract of a woman, she has the uterus, and the uterus has that expansion uh, property, characteristic. It's like a balloon. As the baby grows, the uterus expands. But the mouth of the uterus is actually the, the, the cervix. And that is where the head is resting. I'll ask my viewers who are looking at this to proclaim and say, when I say takbir, 
you say Allahu Akbar the world over because I'm sure Thraya is delivering <laughs> is, is, uh, uh, what the I mean Allah Akbar Thraya is doing the needful this demonstration is being watched the world over if you will if we all say Allahu Akbar with the sincerity of heart this posture is only found in a masjid masjid and the word masjid which means mosque its roots are to be found in the word sajida which is prostration sajida sajida is sin jim dal sajida prostration masjid mim sin jim dal a place where we prostrate worshiping allah and allah has said in no uncertain terms wa ma khalaqtu jinna insa illa liya'buduni i did not create the jinni kind and mankind except for the sole purpose of worshiping me allah tabarak wa ta'ala the one and only one to be worshiped sincerely truthfully la hawla wa la quwwata illa billahi al-ali al-azim i thought it pertinent appropriate to demonstrate that part of the program practically that is what happens and when the midwives who studied midwifery that discipline is midwifery not midwifery uh -uh. african mispronunciation is not midwifery is midwifery when they see the hair coming out fast fast they actually smile because now the baby is coming out normally otherwise if it begins with with, with the, the feet they will panic there will be panic in the in the in the labor ward they will call consultants and doctors to come and effect that cesarean and that is not a normal birth it has to come out normally head first and it's a normal birth otherwise it will, it might be a stillborn the mother has to be upon if it comes out with the feet first it has to come is that delivered by Allah tabarakallah to demonstrate the world that this is the normal pathway this is the normal posture kullu ma wurud wulida ala al fitra buli muzali azali wa azali wa kubumbwa kwa usiram that's what we say in Uganda wallahi inna dina inda allah al islam the true religion in the sight of the creator allah is islam wallahi tallahi billa yes that probably is one of the reasons and several others why islam at this point in time is spreading so fast islam is the fastest growth in the world yes including inside the united states of america we have the facts handy it's a fact we have the facts handy i have some text here in my briefcase which i beg to share with you regarding that particular point listen to this my brother my sister in islam la hawla wa la quwwata illa billahi al ali al azim jalla jalalu um it is written here and uh, it is the phenomenal growth of islam it may be appropriate to 
point out an important indication of the truth of Islam. It is well known that in the United States of America and in the whole world, Islam is the fastest growing religion. The following are some observations on this phenomenon. Point number one, quote and quote. Islam is the fastest growing religion in America, a guide and a pillar of stability for many of our people. Open bracket, Hillary Rodham Clinton, comma, Los Angeles Times, close bracket. Point number two, Muslims are the world's fastest growing group, end quote. Open bracket, the Population Reference Bureau, USA Today, close bracket. Point number three, Islam is the fastest growing religion in the country, end quote. Geraldine Baum, Newsday Religion Writer, Newsday, close bracket. And finally, quote and quote, Islam, the fastest growing religion in the United States of America. Open bracket, R.I.L. Goldman, New York Times, close bracket. This phenomenon indicates that Islam is truly the religion from God. It is unreasonable to think that so many Americans and people from different countries have converted to Islam without careful consideration and deep contemplation before concluding that Islam is true. These converts have come from different countries, classes, races, and walks of life. They include scientists, college professors, philosophers, journalists, politicians, actors, and athletes. La hawla wa la quwata illa billahi la aliyur azim. Allah tabarak wa ta'ala is concluding here by saying, thumma innakum ba'da dhalika la mayitun. He is giving us a narrative of the journey of a human being from birth to the end. Thumma innakum ba'da dhalika la mayitun. When man reaches the end of the journey, he is converted as of necessity into a dead body. He dies. Thumma innakum bada dhalika, thumma innakum yawm al-qiyama tuba athun. Allah, that is uh, verse 16. Verse 16 of Surah Al-Mu'minun. You can cross check from that end. Thuma inakum yaum al kiyama tuba athon. There will be resurrection. At death, the body will be corrupted by the grave. Back into its original constituent components. My brother, my sister, listening to me. You were a born entity. But from the original ancestor, you have come traveling at the back of your grandfathers, whose number you do not even know. Back to the original father, you only know your grandfather, maybe the father of your father or mother. But he also had a grandfather. The other one also had a grandfather. The other one. The lineage goes back to the original human being. That's why I said in my preamble that we are all brothers and sisters in humanity. We ought to go humble and respect one another. Waswahili wanasema 
eh, dunia ni mapito <laughs> dunia ni mapito life on earth is a journey tunalik tunaelekea sehemu fulani maalum tunaelekea sehemu maalum Allah akbar jalla fi ula Life is not a pleasure trip it is an examination we are being tested every second of our existence on earth Allahu akbar jalla fi ula as i come to the end of my submission i appeal to my humble soul and to yours my brother my sister to develop tremendous reverence love to prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam this man to me was a super genius who taught the highest wisdom on earth planet If we love Muhammad Allah ajja kutwa gala insha Allah I request you to join me Do you know that Muslims in villages do not have carpets in their mosques or have you ever realized that some carpets in the mosques are in a bad condition Rahima Foundation together with Raya Islam Media calls all wearers for a masjid carpet appeal fundraising program aimed at providing carpets to mosques all over Uganda. Your investment will be sadaqah to jariah or continuous charity for all those who donate. Let's join hands by donating only $3 or 10,000 shillings on Airtel 0708-222-330 or MTN 0788-020. 301 kindly donate what you can and earn rewards for every prayer made on them through these few lines of the dua is prayer i'll begin by saying bismillahir rahmanir rahim a'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajim rabbana taqabbal minna innaka antas samiul alim Rabbana waj'alna musliman laka wa min dhurriyyatina ummatan muslimatan laka wa arina manasikana wa arina manasikana wa tub 'alaina innaka anta tawwabur rahim jalla jalalu Rabbana atina fid dunya hasanatan wa fil akhirati hasanatan wa qina adhaban nar Rabbana afrigh 'alaina sabra wa thabbit aqdamana wansurna alal kaumi kafirin rabbana la tu'akhidhuna in nasina aw akhtana rabbana wala tahmil 'alaina isra kama hamatu alal ladhina min qablina rabbana wala tahmilna ma la taqna bih wa'fu anna waghfir lana warhamna anta maulana fansurna alal kaumi kafirin 
ربنا لا تزغ قلوبنا بعد اذ هديتنا وهب لنا من لدنك رحمه انك انت الوهاب ان الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا ايها الذين امنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد وبارك وسلم ربنا انك جامع الناس اليوم لا ريب فيه ان الله لا يخلف الميعاد ربنا اننا امنا فاغفر لنا ذنوبنا وقنا عذاب النار ربنا امنا بما انزلت واتبعنا الرسول فاكتبنا مع الشاهدين ربنا اغفر لنا ذنوبنا ربنا اغفر لنا ذنوبنا واسرافنا في امرنا وثبت اقدامنا وانصرنا على القوم الكافرين ربنا ما خلقت هذا باطلا ربنا ما خلقت هذا باطلا سبحانك فقنا عذاب النار ربنا انك من تدخل النار فقد احزيته وما للظالمين من انصار ربنا اننا سمعنا مناديا ينادي للايمان ان امنوا بربكم فامنا ربنا فاغفر لنا ذنوبنا وكفر عنا سيئاتنا وتوفنا مع الابرار دعوهم فيها سبحانك اللهم وتحياتهم فيها السلام واخر دعوهم ان الحمد لله رب العالمين فرح والريحان وجنة النعيم سبحان ربك رب العزه عما يصفون والسلام على